Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Wanda, hi. In this video, I'll be using this tech wrap heat transfer paper for light and dark fabrics. This is the new glitter heat transfer paper and this one's in green. In this packet comes 15 sheets. We also have instructions inside and I'll be using a transfer mask as well. I've used the blue ones before, so I'll test the green ones out today. I'll be doing also a test wash as well. I just want to mention that these heat transfer papers come in four different varieties. They have matte white, glitter green, glitter blue, and the glow in the dark. And so far I've tried three of them. Now I need to try the green one. So let's get going. Let's head over to Design Space and I'll walk you through. Print then cut. Now that we're in Design Space, let's choose our image, click on it, and add to canvas. Once your image uploads, you'll need to resize it. So just grab a corner and start resizing it. Once you resize it, Go up to where it says offset and click on that. I'll be creating an offset for this image just because it's a little bit complex. You can adjust the offset however you like. I normally do 0.1. Once you have the offset you like, head down to where it says flatten and just click on flatten. This will make your image just one image. And now head up to where it says make and click on that. Once you're here, you don't need to mirror your image, so let's just continue. And now send to printer. Here you'll choose what printer you're going to use. Click on the printer, turn off bleed, turn on system dialog, and then print. Now you'll get a box behind design space, so click on that. Now choose media and quality, and then on quality, choose best. And lastly, print. All right, now it's time to print. So let's open the package up and see what's inside. This is a new package. I have not tried this color yet. As I mentioned, we have our instructions. And we have our 15 sheets. As you can see, they have their logo on it, so that's gonna identify the front and the back of the sheet. There's also a couple of parchment papers in here. Let's take one of the sheets out. This has a little bit of a texture. It's because of the glitter. I'll be using an Eco Tank 2803 with regular ink. Our instructions say it's compatible with regular printer with regular ink. So let's head over to our printer and start printing. To cut this design, I'll be using a tech wrap mat. This is a standard tech mat. And this is how the image turned out. The colors on here are so beautiful. Now when placing your design, make sure to place it exactly the same way it appears on Design Space. Otherwise, you'll be left with a design that's not cut properly. To cut my material, I'll be using iron-on glitter. I'll be putting more pressure just to make sure it cuts through the material. 
This is the setting that works for me. I recommend that you try out different cutting settings just because each machine cuts differently. Here I'm putting my mat and it's going to read my registration marks before it starts doing the cutting. Before you pull your mat out, make sure it cut through. And we have our cut made. So now let's just do our weeding. I'll be using this pin pen from TechRap. I'm just lifting on one of the corners and then just pulling away. And the weeding is pretty smooth. Let's weed out the small pieces from the design. As I mentioned, make sure to check before you pull your mat out to see if the cut did go through. And if it didn't, then you can hit play again so it can cut your material. It only works if you don't pull your mat out. And I don't think I need to use one of these masks since it's just a whole piece. I'll just lift it carefully and just place it on the shirt. I did step one, which was the printing, step two, which was the weeding. Now we're up to step three, which is heating. Our instruction says that we need to put our heat press to 155 Celsius to 165 Celsius or 310 to 330 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 seconds. Last time I used this kind of material i did 310 for 15 seconds i'll be pressing my shirt a couple of seconds before i press it just to get the moisture out there's my guideline now let's lint roll this and put our design on make sure to measure and then press this is how the shirt turned out the colors are beautiful. I can see the glittery green in here. It's beautiful. The colors are very vivid. I want to mention that this doesn't feel like when you use glitter HTV, it does not feel that way. The glitter is in here, but it doesn't feel textured so i like that i just love how this material prints your colors so vivid it's just amazing i really recommend this product i love this lastly before i end the video i'll be leaving a test wash this will be done after 24 hours of doing this shirt tech rep recommends to wait 24 hours before wash Wash inside out in cold water. Machine wash using mild detergent. Says do not use bleach or other aggressive cleaning agents. Cannot be dry cleaned. Do not iron directly over transfer. With that being said, we'll wait the 24 hours before I do the test wash. all right so we did our test wash now we'll just see how this looks there's our shirt and our glitter is still on there our material still looks intact and our glitter is still on there if you watched the video to the end don't forget to leave us a like if you're not subscribed to the channel don't forget to subscribe 
see you on the next video. Bye-bye.